Medical Center in downtown Los Angeles. Televised coverage for Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view begins at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. And it features four tremendous bouts coming away, three of them world title attractions. And, of course, our main event of the evening is for the welterweight unification championship of the world, champion versus champion Errol Spence Jr. versus Showtime Sean Porter. And all of our action, our pay-per-view event, is presented by Man Down Promotions, Sean Porter Promotions, and TGB Promotions. Our co-main event of the evening is an explosive showdown for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Let's meet our fighters in this highly anticipated bout presented in association with Samson Boxing. Introducing to you first, he is the challenger, the youngest Super Middleweight World Champion in the history of our sport as he previously held this title and is determined to strap this belt around his waist once again. Undefeated at 21-0 with 18 knockouts, he's a challenger, a young star of boxing from Phoenix, Arizona. Please welcome the undefeated former WBC super middleweight champion of the world, El Bandera Roja, David Benavides. David is joined by his father and trainer, Jose Benavides Sr., who will be here to answer questions as well. And now his opponent, he's the defending world champion. Representing the famed fighting family from Flint, Michigan, making the first defense of this title he captured back in February. This would be his fifth world title appearance overall. Like his opponent, he promises a knockout win. Please welcome the two-time current and reigning WBC super middleweight champion of the world, Anthony the Dog Durrell. And Anthony Durrell joined by his trainer, Javon Sugar Hill. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's the co-main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. All right, moving along, ladies and gentlemen, as our fighters take their seats, our main event on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view is the highly anticipated clash between world champions, both of them holding the welterweight title. The welterweight IBF world champion Errol Spence Jr. takes on the WBC King Showtime Sean Porter for the unified welterweight championship of the world. First, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first... The two-time welterweight world champion fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. In his career, he has faced eight world champions. With a record of 30 wins, two losses, and one draw, he has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. He'll be making his seventh world title appearance and the second defense of his current title. Please welcome the reigning and defending WBC welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter. And the WBC world champion is escorted along with his father and longtime trainer, Kenny Porter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, a 2012 U.S. Olympian, one of the pound-for-pound -pound greats in boxing today, making the fourth defense of his welterweight crown in his second consecutive pay-per-view main event appearance. His record stands at 25 wins, no losses, 21 wins coming by way of knockout. From Dallas, Texas, please welcome the acclaimed and undefeated, reigning and defending IBF welterweight champion of the world, the truth, Errol Spence Jr.
Errol Spence escorted tonight today with, uh, by Derek James, his longtime trainer. He'll be available for questions later on as well. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's the main event of the evening, champion versus champion for the Unified Welterweight Championship of the World. Errol Spence Jr., the truth, versus Sean Porter, Showtime. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to hand her our Q&A session, talented television host and Fox Sports reporter, Heidi Andral. Thank you very much, Jimmy, and thank you to all of the members of the media. There's lots of you here today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we have an exciting, action-packed night on tap Saturday night where history will be made. It is the first welterweight unification fight to take place in Los Angeles, and we have just the men to do it. Let's start by talking with a man who's got 21 knockouts to his credit, Errol Spence, Jr. Errol... Do you feel as though, having been through the mega fight that you were in with Mikey Garcia in Dallas, Texas, that prepared you for, for this moment here this weekend? Um, I feel like all my fights prepare me for this moment. Um, Sean Porter, he's not like Mikey Garcia. They got different styles and different mentalities. But, you know, fighting at home is hard. You know, just all the obligations, media obligations, and everybody coming to come see you. A lot of guys can't shine at home, fighting at home. So, you know, that was a lot of pressure, and I feel like I overcame that, and it led me to this point. Sean, you two have had uh, more interaction than you've probably ever had with an opponent leading up to a fight. Do you feel as though that has helped you in any way, uh, or, or are you sick of him yet? No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be sick of Errol Spence. <laughs> I think right now it's just a competitor in me to uh, – to, you know, get at him in, in any way I can. And uh, until that bell rings, uh, we'll do whatever we need to do to uh, not only promote this fight, but to let him know that we, we really are here to fight him. Errol, he said things like he plans to make you very uncomfortable. He plans to break you in this fight. I love that mm in the front row here, wherever that's coming from. <laughs> when he says things like that, what do you make of it? Uh, I make nothing of it. Um, it sounds good, but he got to, you know, make that happen. And like I said, we train hard, very focused, and I'm ready for anything he can bring to the table. So if he says he can break me, he's going to break me, he's going to stop me, he's going to beat me up, keep that same energy come Saturday night. Sean, how do you intend I, I, I to break Errol Spence? Yeah, I mean, the energy has never changed. The energy ain't changed. I got the energy right now. Where's his energy at? And he said the same things. He want to knock me out, and he going to hurt me, and so on and so forth. He did knock out 135 Mikey Garcia. He ain't knocking out 147-pound Showtime Sean Porter. Well, let's go there, because I know that you've, you've said going throughout this promotion that you would be disappointed if you didn't knock out Sean Porter. You didn't feel that way necessarily about Mikey Garcia. Why is this more personal? Um, I just... I feel like, you know, he's been talking a lot. His dad been talking a lot, and I want to knock him out. You know, they're going to call me. After Saturday night, they're going to call me the showstopper. I promise you that. You know, I feel like he, he, you know, he does have the belt. He fought a lot of guys, but all his, got, all his fights have been split decisions and close decisions. That's the only thing that he showed, that he can stay close with the top-level fighters. That's about it. I think, I think I showed that nothing over here is fake. Nothing over here is fake. When you're in the ring with a top-level opponent, that's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be a close, action-packed fight. I'm sorry that I have All everything that I'm sorry that I have everything that it takes to not, not only close. make a fight exciting, but make it close and competitive, and so on and so forth. Nobody complains about Showtime Sean Porter when he gets out of the ring. People complained about you not nobody, knocking out 135 pound, not 135 pound Mikey fight. Garcia. Nobody complained about fights. You wild. Fight like a football player. You hey, in hey, the you question are, was proposed you are, to you, baby. You are in shape street fighter. 135 pound Mike. You are in shape street fighter. That's what you, you are. Do you think that Errol Spence is more technical you than you? You fight like you drowning. Errol Spence is definitely a you fight a like you drowning. You don't know how to swim. Say again. You fight like you drowning. You don't know how to swim. You windmilling. You 
you but wild, this is saying, did, did you, you watch? Did you watch name. my swimming on on the on the, on the everybody has that. seen everything that I've done to this point. All right, so that was a dumb that was a dumb statement for you to make. Everybody seen me out there swimming and knows you're that I shape. can swim. You're in shape. You're in straight. You're in shape. Everybody knows fight. that I'm in shape. Everybody in knows shape, that I can take fight. a punch. Everybody knows that I'm gonna be there from the first round to the last round. You can't take a punch. All right then. Your Everybody know I'm gonna be there from the first round. To Your the last round. We'll see. Well, this and we gonna we'll see what's see. gonna happen you with to you. We round. are gonna see, and I want to get you back to this. I don't want. Round. I don't want to interrupt it, but I do want to let some of the other men on uh, the, on the stage have let a moment to talk. They that, deserve look it. At Anthony Durrell's like, hello down here. They deserve it. <laughs> Go uh, for it. All right, let's. I'm actually gonna start down at this end. We'll come to you next, champ. David. This man has something that once belonged to you. How do you intend to get it back? I'm very motivated for this fight. You know, um, I feel like I have another opportunity, but not just getting the title, but taking it from the, from, the, from the champion. I've worked very hard for this fight. Anthony Durrell's never been knocked out, so that's another challenge we're going to take, and I'm going to be the first one to knock Anthony Durrell You can't Durrell. do that. You can't do that. Why? You don't got, why? Because you, you, you got that, too much you experience? That, you, you that's all, that that's one, what all the people I knocked out said. You don't got that one That's what they all said. You can't do that. You don't until, got that hey, one knockout until power. Until I hit him in the you ribs and he's going to fold like a lawn bunches. chair, we're going to see what he says. You got to throw in bunches. You, know, you, you don't got that one knockout power. I put people to hospitals. That's what I do. Man, stop. Everybody go to hospital get that's, checked That's out. what Jay Leon Love that's said fine. the last That's, that's what Jay Leon Love said the last case. He said I don't hit like that's that. What happened up on your life. It's fine. What happened to him? David, this fight was supposed to... This is actually for both of you. This fight was supposed to happen two years ago before either of you had the belt. Do you feel as though this fight would have been different two years ago? It would have been the same result. You know, I feel like it's, uh, it's better that it's happened now because, you know, I'm, I'm getting stronger every day. You know, I'm, I'm about to turn 23 December. Anthony Durrell feels like, you know, he, he has a lot to prove to the fans. So it's just, it's just going to be a war. It's going to be a war from round one to round 12. How about you, Anthony? I thought you, you said you was knocking me out. Come yeah, on, but I, I am going to knock you out. <laughs> All right. We're going to knock see. you out. You know, I'm just trying to be we're nice. <laughs> Anthony. I don't think it's going to go all the way. I think I'm going to, you know, have my hand raised at the end. Period. Do you think you can knock out David Benavidez? Oh, for sure. He got hurt with a jab and dropped with a jab. I hit harder than Gabriel. I promise I do. Shit coming. He's, he's talked about your he had a, he had His last fight, he had a bum make him look like a bum. So what do you think I'm going to do to you? Yeah, I ain't I no bum. I know. Where Ildrum do you? That's why they had to save you. That's why yeah. PBC had to save you and stop the fight. So this fight can happen. Save me. Stop the fight. Yeah. It was a cut. I didn't man, you had a little I cut, know man. That. They, you know they, that. They had to wait, save wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. You contradicting yourself again, man. You just told the world on Fox face to face that I want to fight. Beat him convincingly. What is it? Come on, man. Tell the truth. You know yeah, there I There was two rounds left. There was two you rounds left. Him. He could have won those two oh, rounds. Man, he you fought Jay Leon Love, man. Come on. You fought, you fought right. Jay Leon, right. bro. No, you fought that. You fought. Bro. It doesn't matter that, where I go. That's my with guy. That's my guy. But you fought Jay Leon, bro. You should have stopped him in the first round. You fought, you fought Dennis Duggan, and you couldn't even do Dennis Duggan. I, 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 you could, I was Dennis Duggan was beating Dennis, you. Man. What are you he talking about? He was about to get it. stopped. Okay, Stop you know what? Dennis I don't even know why I'm here. Is that is that what you're going with? Is that what you're going with? That's what you're going with, Dennis? We're excited for this fight as well. I feel like right now I want to take it back. I want to take it back. Stop it. To the main event. I can't even control this. It's worse than my three-year-olds up here. Uh, Stop. It. Saturday night is all going to go down. Sean, I want to go back to you. Coming into this fight, you've said that Errol Spence, his style has not evolved. Why do you say that? I said that... Errol Spence came out of the amateur game with a professional style. He has improved as a fighter, but his style was, uh, was already a pro prolific style, even as an amateur. I think that you might be trying to start something. No, no, I'm not. I, right. I don't need to. You guys are doing a good job up uh, here. <laughs> I'm just saying, I said that his... When pardon I, me, pardon when my... When I said that his, his fighting style had not evolved is because he ha had already he already has... And a pro style. always had a professional style, and it has improved, but it has not evolved. I think that Fair enough. there is a difference there. Misinterpretation. I yeah, my bad. stand corrected. <laughs> Errol, some might argue that you haven't faced a lot of adversity. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like you've won 135 rounds out of 153 on the judges' scorecards. 
So how does one prepare for plan B, C, D, and E if they haven't necessarily had to pull them out of their hat yet? Um, I have. It's all about adjustments. I make adjustments fast in the ring. Um, the Kell Brook fight was hard. I made a lot of adjustments in that fight. A lot of people thought I couldn't go 12 rounds. They thought I had limited, which I did have limited experience, but they thought it was going to help Kell Brook out, and they seen that that didn't help him out at all. So, you know, they say I don't have plan B, C, or D, but I can adjust. I can evolve, and I can switch to whatever style my opponent goes to, and you will see Saturday night if it comes to that. Sean, I have to go here because the last time – you fought, you stepped on the scale, and we had yeah. to have a barber on standby. I can't wait to get on the scale this time. Get, yeah. that, get that out of the way. Yeah. yeah, so you're feeling good. What do you weigh right now? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I weigh right now, but I will tell you that this is the best camp I've ever had. Nutrition, nutrition, everything has been spot on. We have uh, a protocol, and right now I'm ahead of the schedule, and that's what I plan to stay. Once we get to Friday, I plan to be eating Friday morning. All right. How about you? I'm on wait. I'm ready to go. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. I don't have a nutritionist. I don't have a strength conditioning trainer. I get mine out the mud. Straight hard work and dedication. I'm in shape. I'm ready to go. Y'all see me before camp. Everybody called me fat boy, this and that, but I never miss weight. I'm always on weight. I'm always professional. So you definitely going to see me on weight. Ripped and ready to fight. I'm actually look better than I did with the Garcia fight because I didn't do any strength and conditioning in that camp, but I've been doing a little bit this camp. Sean, <laughs> let's talk about. Does he have strength and conditioning or not? Uh, or do he do it or do he don't? I think he does. I saw it on Fight Camp. You gotta, so you gotta say I think he do. I think he do. <laughs> I think he do. <laughs> Sean, uh, coming into this fight. You've said you're in great shape. Yeah. You plan to be aggressive. Yeah. You plan, plan to be relentless. Mm -hmm. But they've, they've kind of called you, and not just Errol Spence's camp, but you have this reputation out there of being a dirty boxer. Yeah. Are you a dirty boxer? I'm not a dirty boxer. You Why take, do you think you get that rap? Uh, because I'm aggressive and I'm strong, and guys can't handle it. Um, there are things that happen on, that go on in the ring, and they happen, and you just got to move with it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always prepared to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Um, whether that's misconstrued or, or, or painted, a, uh, the pitch painted different or whatever. Uh, you can't take away two belts that I've won. You can't take away everything that I've done as a professional fighter and even everything that I've done as an amateur fighter. So with the background that I have as an amateur fighter and, and, and being as, as seasoned as I, as I am as a professional, you don't get that far being dirty. And nobody up until a couple weeks or months ago, whenever he first said it, has ever called me a dirty fighter. Everybody know you dirty, man. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong. That's your style. There's nothing hey, wrong with it. Whatever hey, well, it takes you know to what win. They say. Whatever it takes to win, that's what you say. Right? Watch out. Whatever it takes to win, that's what you said, right? Watch out. With that said, Errol, how do you win on Saturday night? Just, just doing what I've been doing. When have I hold it? Hold it. You never held before. When have I held what you gonna do? The Answer the question. Over there talking. I didn't say that. I ain't say nothing. Who said it? Somebody said don't be holding. How do you Somebody win on said, Saturday? Well, it wasn't me. My question yeah. was, how are you gonna win on Saturday night? Saturday. Keep doing what I've been doing. Win in domination, dominating fashion. Period. All right. Sean. He has been dominant. He has not fought Showtime Sean Porter. He has not fought anyone like me. Man, I'm just different. Your last three couldn't, fights been. You couldn't been find nobody to been, train with like me. Any, your last three fights been close. What are you talking about? You haven't been dominant. Well, history will be made on Saturday night. I'm going to take this opportunity now to let all four men standing on this stage give us their final remarks. Let's start with you, David Benavides. You know, I just want to thank everybody, my promotion company, my managers, um, PBC, for giving me this opportunity. You know, I'm, it's going to be an amazing card from uh, all the fights from the beginning to the end, and I'm just looking to make a statement, and uh, I want to steal the show, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Thank you so much to everybody. Champ, Anthony Durrell. Doghouse. <laughs> All right, there you have it. <laughs> Moving on, Sean Porter. Listen, the energy that's up here right now, it's not fake. It's not, uh, nobody is acting. We all love this sport. We all want to compete. We all want to be the best, and we all want to be the champion. Uh, we hate right now that there's two, two belts in this, in this weight class in the welterweight division, so 
I'm coming to take that other one and become the unified champion. I know both these guys, David and uh, and and um, Anthony over there. Both those guys are, are are tremendous competitors as well. So, if you're looking for something fun to do on Saturday night, watch somebody fight. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, history will be made, and I'm looking forward to being on, on the good side of that history. God bless you guys. Thanks, Sean. Errol. Thank you everybody for being here. This is gonna be an amazing event. Come Saturday night, I will be unified champion of the world. I know Sean comes to fight. I embrace that. I'm ready for a dog fight, whatever it takes to win. This is going to be a very exciting fight. I know he's coming in shape. I know he's coming ready to fight. And I can't wait to come Saturday night. I promise you this is going to be a great fight, one for the history books. Thank you, Errol. And thank you again to all of you for joining us here today. It's going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe action up and down the card. For now, we will send it back to our team at the desk. Kate? All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Sean.